Hey Tiny Bakers, welcome back to Mitty's Mini Kitchen. Today we're gonna continue with our Christmas baking and we're gonna make a white cake with white icing. Hmm, I wonder what we're gonna make it look like. Any ideas? Hmm, think two sisters, think a castle, think Arendelle. Do you know? I bet you do. Baby, it might be cold outside, but guess what? It is heating up in Minnie's mini kitchen. So I want you to grab your supplies, preheat your oven, and come bake with us. Spray your pan with no stick cooking spray. Simply mix Mitty's vanilla cake mix with two tablespoons of water and stir. Keep mixing until you achieve this nice, smooth thickness. Pour the batter into your pan and make sure the batter does not fill the pan more than halfway full. This will prevent overflow when baking. A nice way to settle the batter is to tap the pan on the counter. Place the cake into the electric toy oven and use the tool to push it into the baking chamber. Make sure both flaps on the baking chamber are shut so that it will cook properly. Once baking is complete, use the tool to push the cake from the baking chamber into the cooling chamber. Remember, set your timer. Now it's time to see your cake. Use the tool to remove the cake from your tiny electric oven. Time for decorating. Put some icing on the bottom of a plate to help anchor your cake for decorating. But remember, you can also keep the cake in the pan for decorating. So easy. If you want to take it out of the pan, simply run a plastic knife along the outside of the cake to help release it from your tiny pan. Flip the cake onto the plate and let's start decorating. Remember, this first layer of icing is called our crumb coat. We're not trying to make the cake look pretty right now. We're just trying to get all the cake covered. Once your crumb coat is done, put it in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. Now would be a great time to figure out what decorations you want to use. We're gonna make this Arendelle inspired, so of course, we're going to use snowflakes and white little snowballs. These blue sprinkles will be perfect. Use your imagination. For example, when I opened the sprinkles, I realized this lid would be a perfect template for little snowflakes. Our cake is chilled and ready for more frosting. Now this is where we're gonna try to make it smooth and pretty. It's a good idea to have a paper towel and some water nearby just to help keep your spatula clean. Now back to the lid that was in the jar of sprinkles. See how it has a little lip up? Well, I'm gonna keep that up so it doesn't make round circle marks in my icing. Then I'm just going to sprinkle the sprinkles and lift it off. Just use your imagination and have fun.
time to add our little candy snowflakes. Don't they look like little snowballs? And finally, a little sanding sugar to give it that Arendelle look. I'm going to set my decorations by gently tapping with this offset spatula. Oh, look at that. So sparkly, so Arendelle. Be sure to check out all of our tiny gourmet cakes, cookies, and goodies at middiesminicooking.com. Spending time together never tasted so good. And there you have it, Tony Bakers, your Arendelle inspired tiny vanilla cake with vanilla icing. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell to follow along our future videos. And remember to ask mom and dad to tag your creation on our social media, either Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, at Mitty's Mini Cooking. We love to see what you're baking. Until next time, happy holidays.